welcome to N Squared and Tech Edge Europe, and I'm sitting with Kate Gregory, C++ developer extraordinaire. And well, do you want to introduce yourself, Kate, to the audience? Um, well, my usual line is uh, I've been using C++ since before Microsoft had a C++ compiler. Mm -hmm. um, and I used to say when I'm done, I can turn the lights out. You know. <laughs> Um, but there's Will been, you though? This is the question. Yeah, but there's been a bit of a renaissance now. Mm -hmm. So there's actual other C++ developers now. Yeah. And there's new things in, in 2010 for C++. There people. is. And there's a lot of actual C++ excitement. So I guess, you know, why? Why is C++ still important? Loaded question. So, first of all, something like 80% of the ISVs out there are using native C++. It's really mm -hmm. the only tool from, from Microsoft left to write native code in. Right, of course. So, um, you know, Office has got a lot of native code in it, and, uh, and so does just about any product you could walk into a store and buy, right? So, that realization means that, oh, we still have to do things to the product for people who can write in native code. Okay. Then the standards, the language is changing. The standards committees mm -hmm. are very, very slow creatures, but, um, well, C++ X, the X is definitely going to be hex now. It's not <laughs> going to be a decimal digit, but you know, I think it can fit in hex. I don't think we need to get past into the GH right. zone. Um, and so, obviously, you have to change the compiler to adapt to language changes, and then that gets people excited again. And, and so, yeah, there's things going on. I mean, so, if I totally understand why historically there's a ton of C++ code out there that runs on Windows, right? Because that's kind of you had no choice ten years ago. If you're going to build a client application that had some kind of deep substance to it, you could, you know, do some stuff in VB, but really, the 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 core framework would grab onto the APIs that Windows provided was right. all in C++. You want to leverage any sort of operating system specific capabilities. Right. You're going to do it in C++. But surely nowadays people go, yeah, but that's all they've done now. So for one thing, we never release a version of the .NET Framework on the same day as a version of the Windows SDK. Mm, it's right? a shame, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> or is it not? <laughs> <laughs> They're already chaotic enough, right? <laughs> um, that would be really bizarre. So, so there's always going to be something in the SDK that's not in the framework. Right. And if you're going to do that, you have three different ways to do that. You can do it from C++, which will be easy. It will be the same way you've been doing it for you know 20 years or something. Mm -hmm. You can do it with interop of one flavor or another, which is apparently hard, according to a bunch of people who tell me it's hard, I don't find it hard. Uh, or you can get somebody to write you some kind of But you're super smart, so of course it's not hard for you. How hard is it to go to pinvoke.net and copy and paste something? If you take something that hasn't yet been someone written a wrapper for, well, you're going to have to learn how to do right. that. You know? And it's, there's a paradigm thing too, like the Win32 APIs, even on a 64-bit machine, they like expect, say, to be given a function pointer. Mm -hmm. And a C-sharp programmer doesn't think about function pointers anymore. Right. So, and again, not hard. But it's just a reference, right? You can, it's one line of, it's not even one line of code. You can like, sort of in line, you can turn right. a delegate into a function pointer and pass it along. I mean, and, but that's all it is for a C-sharp developer or .NET developer. It really is just a reference. Yeah. They don't, they don't need to think about it any other way. No, but they read the documentation and it doesn't say Okay, so it doesn't say the word reference, it says function pointer. Yeah, and it doesn't and so say delegate. Like, it doesn't, right. so, the, so the terminology is different, right? Mm. Then, and <clears throat> the paradigm of setting up a callback, .NET guys would rather catch an event. Than, yeah. Than, you know, yeah. So it's, it's more like, and now there's been enough people that they don't know, they don't know the old way, it's not, they only learn this way. So we come from the old school. Um, <laughs> the old way. At my old thing. school, we always released memory when we were done with it. Yeah. <laughs> we left our walking sticks outside. <laughs> These developers should get off my lawn. <laughs> but you know, yeah, I, I now I'm feeling like there are people who are actually learning C++ wow. today, so that they can for Windows for Windows, so they can maintain those apps, or so that they can. Hook but is it purely to APIs? maintain? Because to me, one of the biggest challenges that I think Microsoft as a company has. I mean, uh, when I started programming on Windows, it was kind of 3031. And at the time, Microsoft used to engage with the company that I worked with specifically to make sure our apps would build onto the next version of the OS. So, like for Chicago, Windows 95, our app, the version that we shipped shortly after 95 shipped, 
hooked into a bunch of the Windows 95 stuff. So yes. it was kind of, we were upselling Windows. I very much felt that around 95. That, that and 2000 was, was as well. my job to, to hook into those light up features. Right. I think what happened was with Vista, developers absolutely just stuck their heels in and said, I'm not writing for that. Mm. And now that there's so much cool stuff happening in 7, it's almost like there's a... I think that's what's that's bringing it. it back. People are going, okay, 7 rocks. Yeah. I want to get my app so it makes takes advantage of the cool shit it's well, in. Like Taskbar, having tasks on it, right? If I right-click Outlook 2010, mm. I, it doesn't make any sense to have documents you opened recently. What do you have, like local.psd, right? <laughs> yeah. It's got new mail message, new appointment, new this, new that. And so I don't have to, I sound like such a whiner, right? But like click on the taskbar and then move the mouse all the way to the top of the screen <laughs> to click the new mail message. But it actually makes a difference. Right? Yeah, yeah. And so you can put tasks in there. That's one function called add a task. There is this thing called list. keyboard shortcuts. You come across those. <laughs> I, might, I might know a few of those. And so in Messenger, right, set myself to busy or, or whatnot. And then, obviously, with a Word document, I just want to list of words. I don't want tasks. But whatever your app is, if it yeah. has tasks, or if you want to set up certain starter docs, as always in the list, even if no one's opened them yet or whatever. Right. And that's one call. Yeah. You know, or power mm. management. Um, yeah. Oh, that's one I love. Because, yeah. I mean, for mobile stuff, I want... I want my apps to just run and run and be as smart as possible when someone like, shuts oh my gosh, the lid we're on or battery, goes to let's, hibernate let's or, nice right, now. yeah, let's yeah. dumb down the graphics, let's not use so much. Let's stop with the animation, right. let's not spin the CD anymore, mm -hmm. whatever. And and not even just that we're on battery, but you're on power saver. Right. You know, because I'll actually yeah, be on power saver when I'm, you're on. Yeah, because I'll be on power saver when I'm plugged in. If I'm in the airport, i got a half an hour to charge my battery, but I yeah, am I doing will. email. Yeah. I'm still on power <laughs> saver because I mostly want it in the battery, right? Yeah. So, uh, to, Which is interesting, actually, because how many users know that? I bet a lot of users don't think in that geeky way and go, oh, I'm going to go to power saver because I want to charge faster. Yeah, you might be right. <laughs> <laughs> There's still some challenges in the interface for Windows Shell, I think, yes. for solving some of those problems. But yeah, power management, network awareness network is another awareness. one that I love. Yes. I mean, why when I roam, roam around my office or I roam around the company, I can't just easily connect in and out and I don't get a crazy message box saying, you lost your internet connection. Yeah, yeah like, oh no, I you're know. not on the network. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or default printer. By network, have you tried that yet? No. So you know. Oh yes, I have. Which is like your profile for the network. Yeah. So like yeah. you fire up Word and you go file print, and it's like, wait, I have to see the status of the printer to put on the ballot, and the printer's a thousand miles away because I closed my lid and got on a plane, right? And it's like, just a minute, still looking, and it like <laughs> I can't change what printer I want to go to because I'll be right with you as soon as I know the status of your printer. So now. I've had my default printer set to like, you know, XPS or send a one mm -hmm. note or something stupid just to get around that. Yeah, and I then did I so. yeah. never get the joy of just hitting the print button. So now on Windows 7, when I'm on my Graycon's wireless, my default printer is this. When I'm on my mother's wireless visiting her, my default printer is her printer. Whatever, right. whatever. Every network I might go on, different different printer. And now I can just it's cool, isn't it? It is. Yeah. It's like a little thing. It's right? funny that I've had that in OS 10 for about four years. <laughs> <but anyway. laughs> well, that's the deal, eh? You yeah. know, like if if there's a feature that people like, it will spread. Yeah. Because why should you be irritated? Yeah. You know. So, thank you very much for your time. Happy to. It's uh, get programming C++, guys. Get learning it. It's uh, it's the future and the past. It's true. All together. And if you want to really build into those Windows features, it's, it's still your only option.